hot <laughs> topics. All right, here's our. Oh my yeah. word! Look at this. This is, I believe. Who is this? Is this uh, Mick Jagger? Jagger? Who, it is. Who is this? For crying out loud! Yeah, just weeks after undergoing a procedure to replace his heart valve, Rolling Stones frontman Mick Jagger blowing up the internet. 75, Jill. Woo! He had the procedure in April, had to postpone a tour in North America, but planned to reschedule. So yesterday, Jagger posted his video to his Instagram page, shows him at a dance studio dancing to Techno Fan, a 2011 song by the Wombats. His video has received more than 9.24 million views. Stones have released new tour dates. The first set to open June 21st at Chicago's Soldier Field. Okay, he's ageless, first of all, yeah. in his dance moves. There's all something to be said about looking bad early on. Mm -hmm. So people <laughs> think you don't <laughs> right? age. Like yeah. Keith Richards, or, I mean, oh, right. it's formaldehyde. Yeah. Whatever drugs he took right. preserved him yes. perfectly. And that may be yes. true for uh, Mick as well. Yeah, I But know, that but is amazing to I know. move like that. I, I couldn't move like that. When I'm 75, I want to still be able to dance like that. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I'm sure you can. <laughs> I don't know. I've done it in a while. How many years we got before you're 75? Oh, like, decades. I know. Decades. Like 50 something. Well. Don't we? I don't want to say. I'm not give calling her, you give out. Her, give or but take. We got like five decades before yeah, you're there, yeah, aren't yeah. we? Yeah, yeah. Got to keep it up, though. She's a baby. Oh. What's this about, Jill? Okay, so this one comes for us uh, to us from Central Florida. A woman has confronted a porch pirate. They're everywhere these days. And the whole thing, of course, was caught on, ca on her camera phone. Maggie Mercado says she started noticing packages vanishing from her apartment complex in Comiskey. No Kissimmee. Kissimmee, sorry. Comiskey yeah. is where the pirates play spring training. <laughs> sorry, right. I got it mixed up. <laughs> anyway, they noticed a package on the porch last week as she drove in. Moments later, while she was leaving, she says the package happened to disappear. Uh -huh. Mercado says she drove out and found a man walking, carrying three packages. Uh -huh. He parked her car, parked her car, and confronted the man. Now take a look. Okay. Do you live here? Yeah. Because I got you on videotape stealing packages. So this is being recorded, and the police are on their way because I've caught you. So now yeah, he's good. walking away. Good for her. Yeah. So we can ID this guy. Right. And so eventually he puts down the oh. packages <laughs> and walks off. The police are now searching the area for this perch pirate. And look what the shirt Heart says. says. <laughs> I'm lazy. lazy. Yeah, I well, I don't think we can show what the rest of the shirts, but yeah. I'm a lazy blank yeah, blank. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. Well. Yeah. Okay, Those porch buddy. pirates. A police officer in California <laughs> stepping for a father who wasn't able to be at his daughter's wedding. A uh, father of the bride was a former police officer. Amanda Roby uh, says her dad still suffers from a spinal cord and brain injury after he was shot in the line of duty several years ago. Okay. He tends to get headaches and he passes out. And while trying to board his plane from Idaho, TSA wouldn't allow him to fly. A tight-knit law enforcement circle got to work and found Officer Jake Steele. An hour before her wedding, Amanda received a call from her mom saying they had found an officer to walk her down the aisle. Oh. Even stepped in for the father-daughter dance. So that's that's, that's sweet. Nice. Yeah. So nice. Yeah. And you see that a lot whenever it comes to like military families right. too. There's you a know? brotherhood there. Yeah, right. there absolutely is. Mm -hmm. That's a great story. That is a good story. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right, this next one for all the donut fans out there. Dunkin' is serving more than coffee and donuts. Mm. The company is launching a lim limited edition nail polish line. What? Who knew? Why? Eight new nail polish shades inspired by the chain's signature lattes, ice cream flavor coffees, and iconic branding. Colors will include cocoa mocha, caramel blaze, a craze, blueberry crisp, butter pecan, pistachio almond fudge, and banana split. The polishes, they're only going to be available though in Boston between May 15th and June 5th Boston. at five state salons. Is that something that they need? I know they love their Dunkin' Donuts in Boston, yeah. but do you need a nail polish that reflects uh, some I, of their product? I, I don't, don't think know. so. I don't know. Maybe the craze Bostonians. I don't know. Hmm. They're pretty sh summer shades. I will say that. Would you wear it? Um, I don't know if Dunkin' Donuts made it. I would wear it <laughs> not to like belittle, you know, say anything about them. But yeah, uh, right. what else do they? Why don't they just create an airline while they're at right, it? Right, exactly. Let's, get, let's yeah. just get some other non-secular business that, that nobody knows about. Uh, good news for music fans: Woodstock '50 will go on in August as originally planned. A former investor for the legendary music festival tried to cancel the event. On Wednesday, a Supreme Court judge in New York said he couldn't unilaterally prevent the show from taking place. 
The London-based company doesn't have to give back the nearly $18 million it removed from the Woodstock account. Jay-Z, Miley Cyrus, and Imagine Dragons are expected to perform. It will begin Friday, August 16th through Sunday, August 18th. I don't think it's going to have the quite the, yeah. the same impact <laughs> as the uh, cultural movement that right. was Woodstock. This is more like a commercial uh, It's adventure. just another one of those music festivals that yeah, pop up in the summertime. What's the difference about it? Nothing, right. I guess the location. I guess. Uh, who knows? All right, now we're going to go to Jimmy Kimmel. He is keeping his spot on Late Night, at least for another three years. He recently signed a three-season three, -year, three season contract with ABC, which will take him through his 20th season as host of Jimmy Kimmel Live. He's already one of the longest tenured hosts in Late Night TV. Yeah, you know, that guy's had a crazy career. Mm-hmm. You know, um, he started in radio. Then he yeah, was yeah. doing the man show with Adam mm -hmm. Carolla. Yeah. A lot of folks thought Adam Carolla would be the guy to get the, you yeah. know, ascend to a late night program like right. that. But where is he now? Jimmy, and he's done a good job yeah. for the most part. I yeah. mean, you know, so mm -hmm. he should get extended, I would imagine. Yeah, and I don't know, maybe do the Oscars again. I think there was some speculation thought, of that, too. Did, I thought he did a pretty good job. I, I enjoyed with him as the host, Oscars. yeah. I mean, you know, I don't agree with everything Jimmy does, but so what? Yeah. I can appreciate a good joke, and he pulled it off, mm -hmm. I thought. So that's my take on okay. it. Okay. You yeah. agree with that, Jill? I, I like Jimmy you Kimmel. You want to move forward then? Sure. Okay. Okay. Right. <laughs> well, those are today's hot topics. Now, there's so much you can do with uh, L81's new flavor orange cream. And we're going to show you some of the different types of drinks you can whip up coming up next. All right.